Hello students and friends, we were solving problems from the NCRT exemplar quadratic equations. So now let's move on to the next exercise which is exercise 4.3 quadratic equations. So the first problem states that find the roots of the quadratic equation by using the formula. So what is the formula x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Right. So the first question there are seven quadratic equations given. So you have the first one 2x square minus 3x minus 5 equals 0. So a is 2, b is minus 3, c is minus 5. So let's substitute the values in the equation. So x equals minus b which is minus of minus 3 is plus 3 plus or minus b square minus 3 square is 9 minus 4 into 2 into minus 5 divided by 2a 2 into 2 is 4 so i'm skipping the steps i hope you can figure out the value so you have 3 plus or minus root of 9 so this is 8 into 5 which is 40 by 4 so you get 3 plus or minus root 49 by 4 which is 3 plus or minus 7 by 4. So what are the roots? 3 plus 7 by 4, which is 10 by 4 or 5 by 2. So this is one root. The second root is 3 minus 7 by 4, which is minus 4 by 4, which is minus 1. So the roots are 5 by 2 and minus 1. 5x square plus 13x plus 8 equals 0. So A equals 5, B equals 13, C equals 8. Again use the formula X equals minus B which is minus 13 plus or minus root of B square. 13 square is 169 minus 4 into 5 into 8 C divided by 2A which is 10. 2 into 5 is 10. So you get minus 13 plus or minus root of 169. So 4 5s are 20, 20 into 8. So what is 20 into 8? 8 2s are 16, so you get minus 160 divided by 10. So we are left with minus 13 plus or minus root 9 by 10 or minus 13 plus or minus 3 by 10. So you have minus 13 plus 3 by 10. So one of the value is minus 10 by 10, so you get minus 1. What is the other value? Minus 13 minus 3, which is minus 16 by 10. So you get it as minus 8 by 5. So the two values are minus 1 minus 8 by 5. So third equation, A is minus 3, B is 5, C is 12. So you have X equals minus B, which is minus 5, plus or minus root of B square is 5 square, 25 minus 4 into a is minus 3 into C by 2A minus 3 into 2. So what do we get? We get minus 5 plus or minus 25. So here 4 into 3 is 12 minus into minus is plus. So 12 into 12 is plus 144 divided by minus 6. So 144 plus 25 is 169. So minus 5 plus or minus root 169 by minus 6 or it is minus 5 plus or minus 13 by minus 6, right? Okay. So the values are minus 5 plus 13 by minus 6. So this is, so 13 minus 5 is 8 by minus 6, which is minus 4 by 3, one of the values. Then you have minus 5 minus 13 by minus 6. So here you have 13 minus 5, minus 18 by minus 6, which is plus 3. So the values are 3 comma minus 4 by 3. Fourth one, minus x square plus 7x minus 10 equals 0. So A is minus 1, B is 7, C is minus 10. Now again use the formula x equals minus b which is minus 7 plus or minus root of b square which is 49 minus 4 into minus 1 into minus 10 divided by 2a. So 2 into minus 1 which is minus 2. So here I have 3 minus sign. 
So the value remains negative. 49 minus 40. So what is the answer? Plus or minus 9 by minus 2. So we get minus 7 plus or minus 3 by minus 2. Right? So what is the first value? The first value is minus 7 plus 3 by minus 2 which is minus 4 by minus 2 I get 2. The other value can be minus 7 minus 3 by minus 2 which is minus 10 by minus 2 which is 5. So the two values are 2 comma 5. The two roots are 2 comma 5. Fifth one x square plus 2 root 2x minus 6 equals 0. So a is 1, b is 2 root 2 and c is minus 6. Right? So what is x? x is minus b plus or minus root of b square. So 4 into 2 is 8 minus 4 into a into c divided by 2a. So here I get 6 fours are 24, 24 plus 8. So 2 root 2 plus or minus. So 24 plus 8 will give me root 32 by 2. So I have minus 2 root 2 plus or minus. So 32 can be written as 16 into 2 by 2. So 16 is a perfect square. So if I take it outside the root, I get 4. So 2 root 2 plus or minus 4 root 2 divided by 2. So two ones are two twos are. So you have minus root two plus or minus two root two. So what are the two values? The two values are minus root two minus two root two, which is minus three root two. And the other one is minus two root two plus two root two, which is root two itself. So the two values are minus three root two and root two. Sixth one x square minus 3 root 5x plus 10 equals 0. a equals 1, b equals minus 3 root 5, c equals 10. So you have x equals minus b which is 3 root 5 plus or minus root of b square which is 9 into 5, 9 fives are 45, minus 4 into a into c. So this is 4 into 10. So what is 4 into 10? You have 40 divided by 2. So you have 3 root 5 plus or minus root 5 by 2. So what are the two values? 3 root 5 plus root 5 by 2 which is 4 root 5 by 2 which is 2 root 5 by 2 root 5. This is one value. The other value is 3 root 5 minus root 5 by 2 which is 2 root 5 by 2 which is root 5. So the two values are 2 root 5 and root 5. So you have half x square minus root 11x plus 1 equals 0. So a is half, b is minus root 11, c is 1. So you have the equation x equals minus b which is root 11 minus into minus is plus, plus or minus root of b square which is 11 minus 4 into a into c divided by 2 into 1 by 2. So 2, 2 gets cancelled here. So here again 2, 2 is a. So 11 minus 2 is 9. So you have root 11 plus or minus root 9. So you have root 11 plus or minus 3. So what are the two values? Root 11 plus 3 and root 11 minus 3. So these are the two roots. So this completes question 1 where we had seven quadratic equations and we had to find the roots by using the formula. The formula was x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Question two, we need to find the roots of the quadratic equation by the factorization method. So there are five equations given. So here in this equation we have 2x squared plus 5 by 3x minus 2. Right? So now let me multiply the entire equation by 3 because I do not want 3 in the denominator. So if I multiply the entire equation by 3, we get 6x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Now observe, multiply these two, coefficient of x squared and the common term, 6 into minus 6 gives me minus 36 and the middle term b is 5. 
So find two numbers such that when you multiply those two, we get minus 36. But when I add them, we get plus 5. So we know that 9 and 4, 9 4s are 36. So 9 into minus 4 will give me minus 36, whereas 9 minus 4 will give me plus 5. So we have to split the middle term. 6x square plus 5x can be written as 9x minus 4x minus 6 equals 0. Take 3x common, so we get 2x plus 3. So among these two, let's take 2 common, so minus 2 is taken common, so we get 2x plus 3 equals 0. So you have 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 3 equals 0. 3x minus 2 equals 0 or x is equal to 2 by 3 and 2x plus 3 equals 0 and x is equal to minus 3 by 2. So the two roots are x equals minus 3 by 2 and 2 by 3. So this is the first quadratic equation. The second one 2 by 5 x square minus x minus 3 by 5 equals 0. So we know that there is 5 in the denominator. So let me multiply the whole equation by 5. So I get 2 x square minus 5 x minus 3 equals 0. So multiply these to 2 into minus 3 gives me minus 6 whereas the middle term is minus 5. So find two numbers such that when we multiply we get minus 6 and when we add those two we get minus 5. So minus 6 into 1 will give me minus 6 whereas minus 6 plus 1 gives me minus 5. So split the middle term here 2x square minus 6x plus x minus 3 equals 0. First two you take 2x common so you get x minus 3. Among these two you have one common x minus 3 equals 0. So you have x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 equals 0. Equate both of them to 0. So you get x equals 3. If I equate this to 0, 2x plus 1 equal to 0. I, go, I get x equal to minus 1 by 2. So the two roots are x equals 3 and x equals minus 1 by 2. 3 root 2x square minus 5x minus root 2 equals 0. So again here let me multiply these two. So 3 root 2 into minus root 2. So 3 into root 2 into root 2 is 2. So that gives me minus 6. Whereas the middle term is minus 5. So find two numbers such that when we multiply those two numbers we get minus 6. So we know that 6 into 1 gives me minus 6 whereas minus 6 plus 1 gives me minus 5. Very similar to the previous problem what we did. So you have 3 root 2x square, split the middle term, minus 5x is written as minus 6x plus 6 minus root 2 equals 0. Among these two, what can we take in common? I can take 3 root 2x common and within the brackets I get x minus root 2. So observe 6 can be written as 3 into root 2 into root 2, right? 6 can be written as 3 into root 2 into root 2. So I have taken 3 root 2 common here. So 3 root 2 x, so I get x minus root 2. So what is left over in the second term is minus root 2. Next plus 1 into x minus root 2 equals 0. So you have x minus root 2 into 3 root 2 x plus 1 equals 0. So the two values are x equals root 2 and x equals minus 1 by 3 root 2. So these are the two values. So here one of the root is minus 1 by 3 root 2. So we can of course rationalize it by multiplying and dividing this by root 2. So I would get minus root 2 by 6. So multiply and divide by root 2. So you get minus root 2 by 6. Now here in the fourth one, when I multiply these two, 3 into minus 10 gives me minus 30 and the middle term is 5 root 5 here. Okay, so now how do we separate the two terms such that I get 30 when I multiply and when I add them I get 5 root 5. So we know that 6 into 5 gives me 30, right? 6 into 5 gives me 30. I can write this as 6 into root 5 into root 5. 
6 into root 5 into root 5. Put a negative sign here. So this gives me minus 30. Add 6 root 5 plus minus root 5 gives me 5 root 5. Right? So the two numbers are 6 root 5 and minus root 5. So you have 3x square. So this you split this as 6 root 5x minus root 5x minus 10 equals 0. So among these two take 3x common I get x plus 2 root 5 and then take minus root 5 common. Again I would get x plus 2 root 5 equals 0. So here 10 is being written as 2 into root 5 into root 5. So you have 3x minus root 5 into x plus 2 root 5 equals 0. So what is x? x is root 5 by 3 here and then you also get the value of x as minus 2 root 5. So these are two values minus 2 root 5 and root 5 by 3. 21x square minus 2x plus 1 by 21 equals 0. So again I have 21 in the denominator. So multiply the whole equation by 21. Right. So 21 into 21 will give me 441x square minus 42x plus 1 equals 0. So here observe 1 into 441 gives me 441 and the middle term is minus 42. So find two numbers such that when you multiply you get 441. So it's definitely 21 into 21. But when I add I need to get minus 42. So I can have minus 21 minus 21. So when you add minus 21 minus 21 you get minus 42. And if these two numbers are negative, if two negative numbers are multiplied the result is positive. So 441x square so minus 42x is split as minus 21x minus 21x plus 1 equals 0. 21x so you have 21x minus 1 minus 1 into 21 x minus 1 equals 0. So what is x? So you have 21x minus 1 21x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals 1 by 21 1 by 21. So you have 2 roots which are equal right so this completes exercise 4.3 of quadratic equations so we have solved all the problems given in the exercise 4.3 from the ncrt exemplar so do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching